What's good, YouTube? It's your man Rage King back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, I ask if y'all please get on there, hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, and hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Realm of Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe. And y'all, we got some quick wrestling news for my wrestling fans out there, my diehard wrestling fans out there. The formerly known Iconics. I've always liked that. I don't know why. Don't fucking judge me. The Iconics, now known as the inspiration with two eyes, former WWE superstars Billy Kay and Peyton Royce signed with Impact Wrestling. Now, let's speak on it. Now, y'all know what time it is. It's time for story time with Rage King, baby. So, we got an article. We're going to read the article. We're going to react to it because that's just what we do. All right? So, let's get into it. <laughs> The inspiration are headed for Impact Wrestling, Impact with Two Eyes. Cassie Lee and Jessica McKay, or Jesse McKay, formerly known as Peyton Royce and Billy Kay as the Iconics in WWE, were announced for Impact's Bound for Glory pay-per-view Saturday night. Now, for those that are not familiar with Impact Wrestling, have not seen Impact Wrestling or know Impact Wrestling's schedule, Bound for Glory for Impact is what All Out or All In is for AEW. It's what WrestleMania is for WWE. It's the biggest pay per view of the year. That's when they put on the best matches they can possibly can. They possibly can, all in one night. It's the biggest. It's the biggest night on the on the on the on the calendar. It's the biggest pay per view uh, that they have. So to have superstars like this come in and 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 reinvigorate and and give a much needed kick in the ass to their women's division their, their knockouts division as they call it over there in impact i think it's a great move man i think it's a great move and a perfectly timed move as well now let's read on lee and mckay were released from wwe in april but have not made any outside appearances because of visa issues and i don't think and i think a lot of people agree when i say this i don't think the iconic should have ever been fired or let go from the wwe if anything they should be the face of your women's tag team division right now but you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure, though I'm not calling Billy Kay and, or I'm not calling Cassie Lee and McKay uh, trash by any means of their imagination. That's just how WWE treated. They treated them like they were. They, they treated them like they weren't a good tag team. They treated them like they weren't talented at all. They treated them like they just had no value. And that 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 probably was the stupidest idea or the stupidest mindset I could have ever seen from a wrestling promoter. But it's the reason why I don't work for a wrestling business, at least not yet. Wink, wink. Impact has always seemed like the likeliest landing spot for the duo, thanks in large part to a robust knockouts division and the presence of the knockouts tag team championships. They can also continue to work outside dates for the company, so it wouldn't be a surprise to see them pop up on a random AEW show or somewhere on the independent circuit. Regardless, the wrestling world will be better for the return of their comedic stylings. Uh, and that's the end of the article. Now, having said all that, I was just probably I was just about to allude to that. Um, for those that don't know, uh, Cassie Lee is married. Yes, she is married to one Sean Spears, formerly known as Todd Dillinger, already over there in AEW. We've already seen uh, that there there's a big couples thing going on with the wrestling business. You understand what I'm saying? Like Adam Cole making his way to AEW when Britt Baker is already over there. You understand what I'm saying? So having said all that. Um, I look forward to this. I think it's a great move. Again, as I've said before, it's a perfectly timed move. I think that Liam McKay got the, the short end of the stick, as the old folks would say. Uh, they, they really got screwed over, in my opinion. They really were victims of, of a bad situation more than it was them not being talented. Again, I will forever ask this question. I don't know how the hell Eva Marie can get a job in WWE, but yet Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, for, formerly known as... Uh, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce couldn't keep their jobs, though they were probably some of the most entertaining women on the roster. That that they're, they're entertainment, they're funny. You understand what I'm saying? Like when you say not not only that, not just not not just that, not only they're entertaining, but you know, I, I'm not even gonna lie. You know, I'm a man. Yeah, I'm a straight man. They're pretty sexy to look at. You understand what I'm saying? So on top of being nice to look at, and then having the 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 talent that they have, not only with being uh, a, a comedic role, but also the in-ring talent that they have. It, it's a good thing, not only just for them, but for the wrestling world, that these two talented gals get a chance to show the world exactly what made them so iconic to begin with. But that's just my opinion, man. Y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about this, man. Do y'all like this move? Do y'all think it's a good move? Do y'all think it's a bad move? As long as y'all are my respectful and logical, we can have a conversation. But that's going to be the end of my video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. It's been a pleasure making it for you. And I'll see y'all next time, man.